Are you finally ready? I am. Remember, no tricks. I'm watching your every move. Of course not. I've learned my lesson. Any last-minute instructions? Just look into one of the cameras and do your thing. Jack? Kendall? Bianca? I know that I told you I needed time to collect my thoughts and to clear my head. That that's why I ran out on the wedding. But that wasn't true. I was forced to lie because the day before what should have been the happiest day of my life, I was kidnapped. What is it? Years ago, I got your mother this book, only it wasn't a book. It was hollowed out, and inside there was a cell phone and a battery yeah, charger. Yeah, I remember. For right? emergencies, just in case she was in trouble. Let's go on. It's not here? No, it's gone. Oh Are you God. sure that's where she kept it? Absolutely. It's been there since the day I moved in. This is real. Mom's really in trouble. What can I do? Uh, let's look around. Let's, let's, let's see if we can find anything else that's out of place or gone. It might give us a clue as to where she went or what happened. Nobody else would know about that book except her. Why don't we spread out again? All right. I, uh, I think I'll get going. No, 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 you don't have to do that. Yeah, yeah, I do. I mean, I'm not family, and I get the sneaking suspicion that Bianca does not want me here, so... Look, I am very, very sorry. I had no idea it would play out like don't. this. Please, okay, none of that matters now. What's important is bringing Erica home. Oh, sure. Everything is all new and wonderful with your new baby. So I'm sure you never look her in the eyes and think, what happens when I screw this up? But you will. We all do. I'm nothing like you, Liza. Ah, that's probably true. But you're still human, Jesse. And we all make mistakes. So before you get up on that high horse, just take a minute and think about it. One mess up. One little lapse in judgment and everything changes. Everything. Boy, that was fast. Sure you don't want to be walked all over some more? You know, David, I'm not the mood. I don't get it, Liza. Why do you let that loser talk to you like that? Maybe I needed to hear it. From him? It was a reality check. You know, sometimes it can do you good. <laughs> really? Okay. So what am I in denial of now? Why did you do it? Why did you intentionally blow up an innocent woman's world? Excuse me, a pregnant, innocent woman's world. Huh? I mean, did you really think it was going to separate Greenlee and Ryan and somehow she was going to take you back? You know, it's funny because I was going to ask you the exact same question. Have you lost it? I'm not fighting a pregnant woman. Why fight when you can play dirty? Go take care of your baby. I just want to talk to you to uh, somehow make this right. No, you can't. Well, um, how about we try, right? Uh, where are you? I don't want to talk to you right now. Madison! Madison! <sighs> Ryan. We'll find your daddy. Oh, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, please. Yeah, uh, Madison, hey, it's me again. Um, you just please call me, all right? Um, 
I was wrong, and 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 I know that, and I just I really really I need to talk to you. So would you please call me? So what was the master plan? Hayward caused trouble for Madison and Scott, and then somehow that would be a problem for Greenlee and myself. Well, you sure do love your damsels in distress, don't you, Ryan? And now that Greenlee's betrayed you, does she ever stand a chance against sweet, honest, pregnant Madison? Even if Greenlee and I don't make it through this, you are totally delusional thinking that she would come back to you. So you're saying there's a chance she won't make it? Is he serious? I'm afraid so. No way in hell. Please, just help my baby. I'm fine, but my baby... Is there no more pain? Is this labor? It can't be. It's too soon. What do we have? EP 132 over 74. Pulse 92. O2 sat 97. Bilateral breath sounds. <gasps> trachea midline. No obvious signs of head trauma. GCS within normal limits. Oh, that phone kept ringing, and I, just, I tried to stop it, and I lost control oh, of the car. Relax. We're going to take care of you. Let's get her inside. <sighs> All right, look, why don't we get serious here for a second? You know what the problem is between the two of you? You both live by two totally different moral codes. And there are no amount of moonbeams or, or moonstones that look more like jelly beans or anything else you two wax on about that's ever going to fix that. That's really sad, Hayward, because you don't know anything about us. And you don't know anything about moral codes. Hmm. Well, I think I know just as much as anyone else in this town. Hmm. Jesse, what's up? It's Madison. She was in a minor car accident. What? Is she, is she okay? What, what, what about the baby? Uh, uh Madison's fine. Uh, they're in there with the doctor now, uh, checking out the baby. Okay, I'll be right there. It's Madison. She's in the hospital. Okay, well, can you, can you tell him I need to speak with him as soon as possible? Yeah, I'm at my mother's penthouse. He knows the address. Okay, thanks. What is... Uh, he, Jesse's out on a call, but he said he's, he's going to come by as soon as he can. All right, good. That's good. Thank you. I'm going to check the kitchen. Do you want to come and help me? Yeah. yeah, go ahead. I'm going to look a few more places here. I'll be right down, all right? Eric? Has the message gone out yet? Out and received, according to my status alert. Looks like this may be it for us. Think you'll miss me. Well, I wouldn't go that far. But I have to admit, it would have been a lot more satisfying if I had actually seen your face. Trust me, you've seen it before. Then I do know you. I can't see you. What are you doing? Got something stuck in the bottom of my shoe. We had a deal, Erica. No games. Answer me, what are you up to? <laughs> 